Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I am your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition, breaking news out of South Philly slash South Florida. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share uh, the OG pod uh, link, and, and we'll keep on giving you great podcast content. But today we're going to talk about Joey Merlino's dive into the social media landscape. Um, he has launched or is in the process of launching the uh, the Skinny, which is going to be a, a gambling app slash YouTube channel. Uh, so the alleged Don of the Philadelphia Mafia, who I have uh, coined the nickname for, the Instagram Don. Um, I, I coined that sometime in the last decade. Um, is now fully embracing uh, social media. Uh, he, you know, according to Joey, and you know, Joey is the Joey Camp says that he is no longer involved in Philadelphia organized crime activities. That he's retired down in South Florida, living his best life, um, and he's trying to, I think, prove that by doing a legitimate endeavor like this. It should be very interesting. A lot of buzz is circulating uh, throughout the East Coast right now. This uh, this is something that's been in the work works for a while. I I'd heard some things. Um, but it, it was officially announced and launched today. I'll give you some details of what I know. Um, so it's called the skinny and Joey Merlino is going to be giving gambling picks, uh, for football season. I hear that he's going to be interacting with a, a guest star on each week's episode, uh, very high profile, former athletes, rappers, actors, uh, and so forth. Um, this endeavor that I'm told is backed by Kevin Conley, who you might know from Entourage fame, uh, played E in the hit HBO show Entourage, uh, tried to get into the directing space, did a great job on a 30 for 30 uh, called Big Shot about the uh, this guy that tried to buy the New York Islanders and was actually like, didn't have the money to buy it, but he took control of the team. Uh, it was it was it was he was like defrauding the NHL. Uh, great great thirty for thirty, and then um, you know he, he went into the major motion pictures and got involved in the Gotti project. Uh, not not the greatest uh, performance on that from a you know overall point of view that that movie didn't really resonate. Um, but uh, I hear that he is behind this uh it, joey is going to have a co-host uh little joe snuff uh his real name is joe perry p-e-r-r-i and uh, him and his dad are kind of fixtures in south philly big joe snuff and little joe snuff so little joe snuff is going to be the co-host with joey merlino uh is he in his 20s uh, big joe snuff uh a guy that owned a, a diner in south philly for a while everybody knows these guys so you know it should be very interesting to see how this develops, how this evolves. Um, and I'm going to kind of just quick minute or two break down what I think are the positives and the negatives. So the positives are this is a way for him to have a legitimate paycheck. It's a way to really leverage his brand because, you know, he, he is a bona fide, you know, gangster icon, um, a guy that you don't even have to know his name. You just know the nickname and it, elicits uh this vision of a of a baller you know of a guy that has a lot of swagger a guy that is very savvy and stealth and what he's been able to do you know uh i'm sure luck plays plays a part in it um but you know he's a guy that's survived in this world for the last 30 years you know we can debate about whether joey's a mob boss now but we know for sure that he took over the philadelphia mob as a young guy you know early 30s fought a war um, against Sicilian Don John Stamp in the 90s, lost his best friend, Mikey Chang, died in his arms, summer of 93. Uh, but by mid, mid 90s, he had taken over the family, went to prison in the 2000s and came out uh, in around 2011 uh, and relocated to South Florida. Had a couple run-ins with the law, had to go do a parole violation or supervised release violation uh, sentence, and then had to go do a year on a gambling case. But uh, you know, I think this is the direction he's going in for trying to legitimize 
is is a good move and and to put it out there so people can see it um and he's got something to sell um he's a very marketable individual uh people gravitate towards him you know there's a reason that he is the most intriguing compelling riveting you know organized crime figure of our generation you know outside of maybe john Gotti, uh it doesn't get more intriguing than skinny joey merlino now the negatives uh i don't know how this is going to play in new york city and if you're going to go on the theory that joey is still involved um my belief is that that joey is kind of like a figurehead uh not involved in the day-to-day affairs of what's going on in philadelphia he has his guys doing that for him um and kind of doing his old thing in south florida but i'd be remiss to tell you that i don't believe that he's ha- that he has some type of oversight whether it be in an advisory role um chiming in on on policy or or, or stuff that need that needs to be you know decided at the top levels of of, of the bruno scarfo group out in philly um but I don't think he's chiming in day to day. I do think he's probably taking an envelope that gets sent sent his way. But other than that, I don't think he has a lot of hands on hands on role with with the Philadelphia crime family. But the Philadelphia crime family has a lot of business relationships uh, in New York City, um, Lucchese's, Campinos, and so forth. I don't know if this is going to go over well there. You know, it makes me think to what happened about 10 years ago with the Mob Wives TV show and, you know, Anthony Graziano, TG, the conciliary for the Bonanos, uh, you know, he got demoted because his daughters were behind that show. And this is actually Joey. This isn't a relative of Joey. This is Joey jumping on camera. It makes me kind of think of um, the scene in The Sopranos when, you know, Carmen Lupitazzi tells Tony Sopranos, you know, Don doesn't wear shorts. Well, I, I'm guessing there's a lot of Dons in New York City that want to send word to Joey that, you know, a Don doesn't do a podcast. So I don't know what the reverberations will be, the fallout will be from that, but I think it's something to watch. And I think it's also something to note about how this is going to be received um, by some people in South Philly that might feel like they'll be getting, you know, maybe some collateral damage from this in terms of heat or in terms of, you know, if he's making all this money in with his gambling picks, you know, maybe we, we shouldn't be sending him so much money uh, up up to Florida in envelopes. And again, that's all speculation. We don't know if, if that's that's true. That's what my sources say, but uh, has never been charged with taking envelopes from South Philly. But um, Joey is Joey and he's going to be Joey. Uh, it's going to be Joey top to bottom on this thing. You got skinny Joey Merlino. Little Joe Snuff. I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's going to be on YouTube and then on a, uh, on an app called Fan Basis. So go check it out if you get a chance. I'm wishing Joey the best of luck. Uh, all of his team are really excited about this, and I think it should just be something really fun to follow. Um, and I, I wish him nothing but the best of luck. And go out there and make a lot of money and show it to the government uh, and say, yeah, you can't come after me anymore because my money's as real as real can be right now. It's legit, as, le- as clean as a... Uh, you know, as a, a baby coming out of his baptism. So uh, for OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein, out.